How you going? It's the 2nd of January 2023 and we're out on our first trip away for the year and we're currently walking down into Paradise Falls. We're just out of Chess Hunt and it's about a 13k drive from there and now the sign heading into here says a leisurely walk but if you've got kids or have trouble walking or anything just uh, keep in mind there's a big series of stairs near the start and then it flattens out, then it drops back down to the falls. So we'll head down there now and see how much water's flowing. So we've just done the walk back up from Paradise Falls. Now there's a good information board here and it's saying that the actual falls drops 31 metres straight off the side. But coming into summer, it's, there's a couple of waterfalls falling off it, but it can and has been known to uh, dry up in the summer period. But keep in mind, this is part of the Alpine National Park. It's one of the reasons I haven't brought the dog with us this week because we'll be going in and out of national parks. And we're away for quite a few nights. So be sure to stick around and see what we get up to. All right, time to go grab a uh, drink and go find a campsite for the night. So we just followed a overgrown track out of the car park and we found what we think is the top of the falls. Straight over behind my shoulder there, but we're not going to venture anywhere near the edge there. Um, it's a bit overgrown, but not too bad, but lots of birds around in this bit. Just through there. We're only guessing that's where it drops off because that's where the uh, edge of the cliff is. Alright, so we're at a place called Benny's Campground. So I camped here about probably four years ago, three, four years ago. We've come in here now. It's only us and another camp right up the far end in their own little camp spot. Um, grass is pretty long, plenty of mozzies about, but we are in the Alpine National Park and this is a free camp. And for those wondering where it is, you can head from here straight up to Lake Cobbler. So we've got dinner on the go now and it's about quarter to seven. Still probably about 24, 25 degrees. And then tomorrow we'll pack up and head into Myrtleford and then make our way up Mount Buffalo. So the road into here, it's a uh, two wheel drive road into where we are. You fit quite a few camps in here. So if you're looking at use this as a base camp to head up to Cobbler and explore, or if you get up here late on a Friday night and you did want to head up that way, this would probably be a good spot to kick off your weekend. So just down below, behind camp here, there's this um, <clears throat> little track, just leads down to the, uh, down to the river here. So it's perfect if you just want to cool off. It's not real deep, it's not like there's big swimming holes. I know where we camped last time, up on the corner, which is the next campsite down from where we are. So at the moment we're across from the uh, drop toilets. But yeah, a bit further up, there's a bit of a swimming hole, but you can tell how much rain and water there's been through this year. The ground's still damp where we're camped. On the opposite side of the river here, you can see where it's washed all the bank out there. So 
So uh, this is where I'll be going before bed. Cool down a bit and then uh, get these dishes done from dinner. Nice, quick, simple dinner tonight. Veggies in a can, chicken fillets. Perfect, simple and uh, filling. This morning when I woke up, probably about quarter to six or so, just lying in the swag there and the bird life here was unbelievable. There were just, I don't know how many varieties of birds are going off, but the sounds and everything were just going from one end of the campsite back to the other. This went on for around an hour or so. They've only just started uh, slowing down a bit now, but they were just all different sounds you could imagine were uh, going right across everywhere. Just good line there, nice peaceful morning, just listening to a uh, whole heap of birds going about their business in the morning. So we've come out through Myrtleford and we're up at, went up Mount Buffalo and we're actually at Lake Katani at the moment. Once we leave here, we're gonna head out 11 k's from the Horn car park and then we'll walk out to there and check it out. But yeah, it's our first time up at Mount Buffalo, which is surprising since we've driven past a million times, but never been up the top here. It's pretty awesome. About 23 degrees at the moment, quite pleasant with no wind. You're gentle and wind and rain Yes, I'm gonna butterfly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite So we're just at the car park for the horn and we're gonna have a quick sold singer and wander up and check it out. So here we are at the Horn and the view, we've had the fog rolling across, we had a bit of lunch and the fog's been rolling across the hill but this little camera doesn't do this justice. If you haven't been up here, get up here, it's absolutely awesome. Turn this camera around, not sure if you can hear me, but 
look at this wall of cloud coming through. We'll see what sort of uh, how this GoPro gets it, but it's nuts. So we just followed a road called Reservoir Road and we found this reservoir here. It's got a little spillway at the other end. Spilling over, I'll uh, show you that. So yeah, a little cool surprise here out of the wind, a little bit of windy up at the um, Horn Summit before a buffalo there. But yeah, this is a really good spot down here. So we just drove around to where the chalet is and just from there there's about four or five lookout points. I'm just standing on one of them here. We're just about to check these out. And then we'll go up and check out the chalet. Just behind me there, there's a hang glider ramp. There's no way I'd be going off that. If you think you would jump off it, comment down below. Yeah, I, we can hear the waterfall, but you can't really see it. It's called the Underground River. So we've walked at least, I think it's about a K, pretty much straight downhill. And we're in all these big rock boulder sort of gorge area. Looks like they're just teetering on the edge there, almost like they've been placed there on purpose. But you can't really see much water up, but down the bottom you can. But um, still spectacular nonetheless. Alright, so after a massive day today and lots of walks, which some I filmed, some we didn't film, We've just come down the Buckland Valley Road and we're camping along the Buckland River. So this spot I haven't been to it for about four years or so. A few other camps around being the start of January, but we're all set up. And we've got dinner on the go, have that. And then tomorrow just kick back and relax a bit and see where we end up.
Right, oh, so we've left camp. We headed further into the Buckland Valley, and we're going to go up Mount Murray North Road, but that's actually got a gate across it. So they said that um, a bit of damage there still from the storms. So we're on the Mount Murray Logging Road, I think it's called, and we're going to join Twins Jeep Track. I've just aired down a bit down the road there. So we're at 25 psi. We'll see how that goes, and we're going to. Uh, See what it's like. It's probably been about seven or eight years since I've done this track, but we're heading up there today. See what it's like. Right, righto, so I'm halfway along Twin Jeeps track and got awesome views. Just gonna make it quick, there's a car behind me and got a decent hair climb, hill climb coming up there, but check out that view there. So I've just pulled up over in this little spot here. It's a little bit sheltered. We're actually going right around the edge of the mountain here. Straight down the edge behind me, there's a big steep valley, big drop. Looks like the winds barrel through here at some point. Heaps of trees ripped out the ground. As you can see up behind me, but yeah, quite a few wildflowers still out too, which is awesome. And a lot of new uh, growth on a lot of the trees up here. So the roads, so we've got, had a fairly steep rocky climb earlier but um, this bit here looks like it just goes back to pretty much a dirt road this bit but the Pretty windy, um, fog's rolling right across the top, and we're still going along Twins Track. We just met up with a couple from Queensland that was behind us before, but yeah, I'm not sure how much you can hear because of this wind. But I'll just turn the camera around, and give you a look. Good morning, so it's Thursday the 5th of January 2023 now. Um, yesterday we didn't film a whole heap, so we did twin jeeps track after we left camp in the Buckland Valley. Made our way to the top of Mount Hotham, expecting some views, but it was about 
eight, nine degrees up there with a total whiteout. So it's totally different than how it was when we left camp in the morning. Twin Jeep track's quite a narrow track. Um, we had a few vehicles coming in the opposite direction and a few actually traveling the same way as us, but the ones coming in the opposite direction, one spot we had to back up probably about 200 meters to a spot to let a uh, troop carrier pass because it was just that narrow and not worth it trying to squeeze by. Um, so yeah, really good track. It's been quite a few years since I've done that track. Like I did mention up there yesterday, nothing too challenging, just, uh, just narrow in spots. But the views off there are absolutely awesome. Again, didn't film a heap, it was quite windy right across the top. You are quite exposed in quite a few spots as the wind rushes up through the valley. So when we left there, we dropped back down into Harrietville and we made our way back out into the Buckland. So we just camped here again last night. Um, just had a really cruisy night. Just chilling there, but the sun's out again. It was quite windy just before the sunset last night, but this morning waking up just a little slight breeze, but uh, really uh, quite perfect morning for camping. So we'll have some brekkie. We are making our way back towards home today. So I'm not sure where we're going to end up at this stage uh, just throughout the day. Maybe a bit of sightseeing and stuff like that. And head home, unpack and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll see uh, where today ends up. Alright, so I've been home for a few days now. Um, that video is sort of just finished up there. I forgot to uh, film an outro. So if you want to know anything or any places where we went during this trip, be sure to uh, comment down below and I'll answer any questions down there. And if you have enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, it means a lot to us when you do that. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.